Aha, there it is. 45 US. Thank you, Alan. Now, Helen says, Mehran, why do you think everybody has difficulty with relationship nowadays? Oh, well, uh, it's a certain, it's not thinking, because that's a big question, and thank you for that, but let me have it, because that's, that's one of those things that I gotta say. Have you guys seen uh, Pet Detective, the movie Pet Detective, long time ago by, um, who was, uh, was playing in it? Um, a funny guy. Liar Liar also, he played, what's his name? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Let me see if one of you have written it down for me here. Who knows who played in uh, Liar Liar and Pet Detective? Anyhow, in, in, in Pet Detective, he wanted to explain what evidences he has that brings him to a certain kind of a conclusion about someone who's been pretending he's not a guilty party, but it's Jim Carrey, thank you. <laughs> Jim Carrey. And he goes like this, breathes in deep, and then he goes one after the other for the next minute or two, the reason. So I think for that, I have to have a good sip of tea and answer Helen's question. All right, so Helen asks, why do you think everybody has difficulty with relationships nowadays? Because nobody is having relationship with each other, Helen. Everybody's having a relationship with the image that they have created of the other person in their mind. Everybody has an image of themselves in their own mind. And they have an image of their partner, about the partner in their mind. These two images are having a relationship. Otherwise, you don't even know each other. And you wonder, why did I break up? Because you guys didn't even know about each other. Your relationships was between your image you have of yourself in your mind and the image of your partner that you have of him or her in your mind. And never had the chance to actually know each other. Your images, your relationship was based on a bunch of stuff. It's fun, pleasure, stuff. Illusory worth and value that certain actions such as opening the door for you or buying certain gift for you or taking you somewhere place or you taking him or whatever it is him her whatever it is the proper way of addressing you that you two the things that you did for each other things that you bought for each other or uh, respect or certain image that you created for each other by your actions that was the relationship you had you weren't having a relationship with each other because to have a relationship with each other first you got to know who you are how you're put together what are you all about what makes you tick you don't even know that i'm not talking about you helen i'm talking in general and the other person also doesn't know about that that stuff about himself or herself so not knowing about yourself you expect to actually connect to the other person. You don't know how you're put together and what makes you tick. But yet you want, you expect yourself to have a good connection of knowing the other person. And on that basis, you will love the other person and the other person will love you. Most relationships are based on nothing. Not the two people, the actuality of two people are not having a relationship with each other. The images are. And these images, funny enough, is from the morning that you wake up, these images are, are interchangeable. As I mentioned before many times, you go to the store to buy milk, you have an image of a shopper. 
you come back to make your breakfast for your family or for yourself or each other you have an image of a person who's making the breakfast the girlfriend or the boyfriend you go on the bus you have an image of a passenger you go to school you have an image of the student you teach a class you have an image of a teacher then you go to your job maybe it's driving a bus you have an image of a bus driver you work in a store same store that you bought something that you had the image of a shopper now you're actually working in that store you have the image of a storekeeper you go to your parents you have the image of a son or a daughter you go to your home families you have the image of a mother or father these images are constantly are used up and abandoned and another image comes in depending on what it is you're about to do and that's how you negotiate your daily life and the events of the life and these images some of them at different times are the ones that you too have based your relationship on you know you're having a relationship with the image of your partner based on what you guys are engaged in doing in that moment and all these images have interpreted your partner to you and all the stuff that you do according to the way you do has in interpreted you as a person as a person to your partner but you guys don't know each other and that's why it breaks up because you think you know each other based on what this person likes or doesn't like of the things that you do pleasure or whatever it is that you're engaged in and you think okay then you know we know what kind of food uh, we like we're gonna what kind of things we like to do what kind of movies we like and you think these are really knowing a person these are some of the fragments of the persona of that person that the center of that person how that person is put together what about the conditionings that that person each one of you have received through your childhood what about the religion you have what about the customs you have what about the neighborhood that you grew up in the country you grew up in the city you grew up in what about the teachers that you 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 were ex you were um, um, you know you learned stuff from what about the laws and regulations that you were uh, you had to abide by what about the school you went to what about the neighborhood the school was there what about your dogmas what about your stuff that was carried through generations from your ancestor to you all these can what about the books that you read the movies that you watch what about all the things that you experienced that you were exposed to these are what have brought you to be who you are and you know nothing about it really or you don't really consider that they have direct link to how you feel and how you behave in life that you do and the same thing for your partner but you have no idea about it about yourself you're not focused on it neither you are aware of that sort of stuff about your partner or focused on that you only judge each other based on what interactions you each have towards a certain food certain event certain interaction certain activity that's all but you don't consider the differences you have in consciousness based on all the conditionings that you've received in your lifetime with some of the things that we 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 explained just about a few minutes that we talked about and that is why there was always there's always going to be divisions and conflicts but when divisions and conflicts appear you wonder why how oh well, it's always been there you guys never really went deep enough to know about each other's fears and desire and ego do you know what desire is all about how is desire put together how you can stop it what about fear what is fear what is the movement of fear what about ego where does that come from what about consciousness what is the relationship between thoughts and consciousness how do they affect each other what is the relationship between the two what about order what about mechanical process what about the things that i've talked about a hundred million times have i <laughs> so this is why everybody has difficulty with relationships nowadays they had difficulties in the old days too don't forget in the old days there was really like strict about the culture and customs were suffocating people to put up with things 
But nowadays we are free, freer than before. Still there are customs and traditions that holds people back from really exercising freedom in their life. And maybe these days we have too much freedom to the point that we have no respect for anything whatsoever and anything goes and perhaps that's why conflicts and divisions are even more because there is no real boundaries. And I don't know if that's good or bad. But these are some of the reasons that why almost everybody has difficulty in relationships nowadays. In the old days, there were lots of importance put on, on sacrifice, on being for each other, on doing things for others, for each other, for the family, for your partner, for your husband, wife, for your children. Now it's more of the emphasis is on me, 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 me. Everybody says me. Before we were supposed to learn, everybody should say the other comes first. Now we say everybody says I come first. So when everybody says I come first, well, <laughs> there is no place for the others really to feel important. And when people don't feel important around each other, they don't want to commit to anything. And it starts breaking down it's all you see your relationship between two people beside what i just said is really when you guys don't know about each other and each other's roots and the depth of each other's consciousness your relationship is based on a bunch of resonances of sound colors words the meaning of the words that you hear and interprets that into feeling into thoughts and then feelings and that makes you feel good or bad your relationship is between colors sparkles things sounds creates mood and emotions and words and their meanings it's not really based on knowing each other and wanting to build something together cooperating as one unit it's none of that it's all about me pleasure now and because none of them have any substance for you to hold on to and based on that accumulate them and build something on it you'll always see that this relationship you still have nothing about it because it was all based on pleasure and momentary joy and things to give you a certain kind of escape so you don't have to deal with the things that you have to deal responsibilities you have in this life everybody's looking for escape and escape is no way of building something how can you build something when you're escaping from it Stick it in and make it happen. Or rather, I should say, stick it out and make it happen. Then that's not escaping. That's trying to build something. Nobody's sticking it out. Give me me and I don't have enough and I can't make it myself. I don't have the guts to build something out of it and be patient and build it. I'm flying to somebody else. And I'm going to go to somebody's. Because I expect somebody else to bring happiness for me. I'm not going to be responsible for bringing happiness for myself. Why? Because I'm pretty. That's all there is. You know? Most women think I'm pretty. I give pleasure. Therefore, I should have everything. And if it's not enough, and because we didn't really hit it off on consciousness level, we didn't even try to understand or learn about each other. So, we see, I'm not connected. Because all you were hoping for was to be furnished with the stuff that you want because you're pretty versus really using your own wisdom smarts which every woman every man everybody is smart and has wisdom and can use it to better themselves instead of that you only count on aesthetics and then expect the other person to bring the happiness and the stuff that you want in life. And when they don't, you fly the coop. You go somewhere else. And the men. Men, they think they have got this and that, this car and that much money. And, you know, they make money and therefore that's all. That's the prerequisite for a good relationship. So because of that, then every girl should like them and should be attracted to them. And when they, on certain uh, uh, basis, they get together and after a while, they don't focus on their manners, the fairness, uh, loyalty, and everything else that a good man should have. 
but they wonder why am I not happy because you haven't found out about who you are what you're here for and you're trying to pin it on your girlfriend or your wife that oh my partner should bring happiness for me and if she didn't therefore I should go to another woman extramarital marital sex and this and that and so forth because it's all again focused on pleasure escaping nobody can build anything when you're one foot out the door escaping from your responsibilities and challenges of life and these are some of the reasons why people have difficulties in relationships nowadays Helen oh you got me going there now who's bringing me tea now <laughs> I'm going to take a break and go and put the kettle on. Now, let's finish with Helen's stuff because she's got a bunch of these green emblems for her screen thumbnail. Helen says, like dealing with people with childhood traumas and personality disorder. Ah, yeah, okay. These are some. Well, those are all whole different tangent of problems. We were just talking about people who don't have any other issues other than just issue with relationships <laughs> and Helen says well that person has not really grown up and understand what life is really about mm -hmm. Helen says I drink tea every day yogi tea ah yogi tea I've heard about it uh, I wonder if I've tried it all right, so I did respond to Helen. Let's go to next. Oh, did I now? No, Helen says, you're right. Uh, oh, no, oh, there's a lot more. Helen says, goodness, Mehran, make me think so hard right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Helen says, you're right that we are a me generation I did not realize we are a big mess <laughs> Helen says I want to cry to you Mehran what you said is a big opener well I'm delighted well you can always make an appointment on Skype and cry in person I will be having my tea and you can cry and of course channel channel makes money then that's that's fair, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let me go on to <laughs> to our next our next caller. Listen, guys, there's 16 of us in here, and I'll be damned if I don't see 16 likes here. If I see 16 dislikes, I'll just commit harakiri. <laughs> so the rule is here. Here is, if you like, click on like. If you don't like, just say goodnight. <laughs> go, go away. 